Hello friends, in this lecture we will understand about the models of curriculum. So there are two different types of models of curriculum. The number one is technical or scientific model, whereas the another one is non-technical or non-scientific model. So as far as technical model or scientific model is concerned, it is completely objective in nature. That is not subjective type. It's completely to the point. Just pinpoint. Talk about the objectivity. Okay. And that is why it is teacher-centered. It's mainly focused on the subject matter, subject content. And that is why it is called as scientific model because of its objectivity. Just focus on the content, the subject matter. So, as far as this technical or the scientific model is concerned, it is of three types. Or we can say, there are three different models of curriculum development under the heading of scientific method. Number one is Taba's model, and they are also called as Hilda Taba model. The second is Goodlet's model, and the third is Hunkins developmental model. But in this lecture, we'll only focus on the Taba's model. So as far as Taba's model is concerned, as I have told you, that it's mainly a uh, teacher-centered focus, it's objective in nature. So some of the specific feature of Taba's model is that, firstly, we uh, diagnosis the needs. Diagnosis the needs, I mean to say that, Firstly, uh, uh, we identify the need of students for whom the curriculum is to be planned. And after identifying the need of the curriculum, we formulate the objective. After identifying the need of student, we formulate the objective. And formulation of objective is nothing but it's a specifying the objective. It's objectives by which need will be fulfilled hope I'm clear first point firstly we diagnosis the need that is we identify the need of the learner of the students to whom the curriculum is to be for whom the curriculum is to be planned second we will specify the objectives by which need will be fulfilled that is formulation of objective after Deciding the need will focus on the objective. What objective must be there to, to meet the requirement, to meet the need of the learner or student. Number third is selection of content. It's very clear that after objectivity, after determining the objective, we have to select the subject matter based on objectives. And we have to determine the validity of the chosen content. Then whatever content we have chosen here, that must be valid in nature. That must be, uh, that must fulfill the criteria of our objectivity. That must fulfill the need of the learner. So that type of subject matter, subject content we have to select here. Number fourth is organization of content. It's, uh, it's only organizing that uh, it's uh, mainly focus on the arrangement, okay, arrangement of content in a, in a, in a particular sequence, keeping in mind the uh, maturity of learner or we can say academic achievement or uh, interest. Actually, I mean to say that in organization of content, we have to organize the content as per the interest, as per the maturity of the learner. In a sequential manner, it's the only organization of content in a sequential manner for the presentation, for the better understanding of the student. Hope I am clear here. And in uh, fifth point, we have to select selection of learning experience. Here, selection of learning experience mainly refers to methodology. Mainly this selection of learning experience facilitates interaction of learners with content through an appropriate instructional methodology. We have to gather the methodology 
we have to gather the learning experiences by which we will fulfill the need or we can say objective so called through subject matter okay subject uh, content or we can subject matter we have to uh, by the requirement of this all i mean to say by the requirement of this all uh, um, by the availability of subject matter we will uh, try to meet the requirement of the students as well we will also select the learning experience the what methodology will be adopted to meet the requirement of the learner okay that is selection of learning experience hope i am clear here now next is organization of learning activity organization it's clear organization of learning activity that is the learning activities uh, must be organized in a sequence uh, depending uh, both on uh, content sequence or learner characteristics okay and last one is evaluation that is finally we have to assess or the final outcome the final achievement of the learning objective that really our learner has uh, learned the things what we really want to uh, to to provide him on the ground level so hope i am clear it's all about the the hilda tabas curriculum model it's very uh, good and very popular model so hope i am clear thanks for listening thanks for watching this video if you want to suggest me any if you have any query or want to give me a suggestion you can just comment in the comment box section thanks for listening thank you so much